What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Jess and you are watching Keto Rewind. <laughs> Thanks for clicking on today's video. I have a fun video for you this week. Today is a week 147 update of my weight loss journey, my story to rewind my health from a morbidly obese weight to a healthy weight with a ketogenic lifestyle. So I, I do my best week to week to show you my tips, my tricks, my ups, my downs, this, the real story of a weight loss journey. So if that's something that inspires and motivates you or you wanna see more of, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications and watch this video all the way through the end. That really helps boost the algorithm and helps me get my message out there. So anyways, let's hop into week 147. Alrighty, so week 147 was jam-packed of fun stuff. I had a Christmas party with a bunch of friends, so I needed a formal cocktail dress. My daughter started a new sport, which spurred uh, a, a renewed interest in an old passion of mine and also I hit the gym again like some of you have followed me for a while and know that I put a home gym in my garage which consists of a weight bench that mounts to the wall and it's about four inches deep so you can still park a car in there and that kind of thing so it makes the garage still functional yet I have a place with no excuses where I can work out rain or shine no matter what. So I finally jumped back in and got some weights training done last week. So that's what my video is about. So let's start with the fun stuff. The formal, <laughs> the formal cocktail parties. So we went to our friend's house and celebrated Christmas with them um, along with a bunch of other friends. The one thing, because being that we live the mom life and the dad life where my Kyle works from home so he has no need to put on dress attire or dressy clothes, you know, like a men's dress up. Um, and I'm certainly not wearing formal wear ever. I don't think I've worn a formal dress since, I don't even, years. So it was super fun to be able to go shop for something dressy and, um, and just go through that process. I clearly didn't have anything in stock, so we had to go to, um, I actually tried a bunch of stuff from Amazon. They were all fails. <laughs> So I'm one of those people that waits to the last minute, literally like two days before the party. I'm like, what should I wear for this party? So I, the stuff that I ordered on Amazon that I counted on being great was horrible. It was just like not even close to what I was looking for. So those things all have to go back. So then I was like, crap, I better go to the, 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 you know, the local stores and see what I can find. So I went to Macy's, Dillard's, and Ross. So I, I did manage to take some clips from the dressing rooms. So this first dress is, I loved it the most. Um, I took pictures of it. It was a nice flowy style, short. I had tall th knee high or like thigh high boots that I was gonna wear with it. Um, just a real comfortable dress. This one was has a nice detailing on the shoulder with like these pretend crystals um, with kind of like this asymmetrical look. It kind of helped my rectangular shaped body have a little bit of shape. Um, this next one had pretty detailing in the sleeves. Kind of like a dolman sleeve, a little bit more form-fitting. Again, trying to get some sort of shape out of my body. Then there's the green sparkly, glitzy, glam. Um, this one I would have needed to wear shapewear with. <laughs> I did not have shapewear on in this, obviously. <laughs> uh, but the green sparkly screams Christmas to me. And I really like this one. And with shapewear, I would have rocked this one. But also, then I thought, step out of my culture's comfort zone and try a pantsuit. Um, this one I loved, but I couldn't get over the fact that my, my tan lines from the summer are still there. <laughs> and this was a fun navy blue sparkly dress. Again, I loved it. Fit my body great. I felt good in it. And ultimately, I decided on the velvet maroon cocktail dress with a little detailing in the sleeve and... I'll tell you this, I haven't worn a, a velvet dress ever in my life. <laughs> it was before my time when this was big. Um, so this was a perfect Christmas dress and the, the one time that I find like you've got to wear velvet or velour or whatever they call that. Um, but here's a picture of my husband and I right before we left. My five year, my eight year old took the picture so you know. <laughs> um, but that's us all dressed up. 
So, um, but anyways, it was such a fun occasion. It was great to be able to just go out with friends and look good and feel good. And I, it was just a great overall uh, experience. So on to the next fun thing. So my daughter, I have been, my daughter, my both my girls are above average. They're in the 90 percentile for height. One of them being 91 percentile, the other one's in 98 percentile for height for their respective age. So my eight year old is the height of a 10, 12 year old, <laughs> average 10, 12 year old. So it's, it's hard to remember, she's only eight, you know, cause she's so tall. And my six year old, the same thing. She looks like a normal seven, eight year old. I have been asking them, do you guys wanna play basketball? Do you wanna play basketball? You know, for the past like two years and they're both like, no, 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 no. And I'm the type of person that you work with your natural talents you don't like go for something completely not in your wheelhouse, you know, like you just work with what you have because you'll have a better chance of excelling. So us tall girls, we do good in basketball, volleyball, softball, you know, things where height comes into play and is an advantage. Um, us tall girls don't really navigate towards gymnastics. You know, I'm not four foot eight, I'm five feet eight. You know, it's a lot more to swing, you know. So basically what I'm trying to say is, I finally convinced one of them to play basketball. So I was, of course, excited. I played basketball, obviously. Um, so I know the game and it, it, I feel like it's something that my girls just love because mom does it and it's something we can do together. So, and then um, I realized I don't have a basketball hoop. <laughs> um, and what would be a great activity to get my butt moving? getting a, a basketball hoops. So my daughter decided to play the on a basketball league and she is realizing how much taller she is than everybody else and how naturally that's an advantage. So we had our first game this weekend. She scored two baskets. I mean, this we're, we're talking about seven and eight year olds. So um, the score was 18 to three and we, my daughter scored four of those oh, points. Nice. So she was like, um, like, oh my God, this is actually fun. You're like, this is, this is something I want to do. So of course that sprung the, well, I guess we should get a basketball hoop for the yard, you know, and we'll practice, which led me to be like, well, why would I not go out there and practice some basketball as a way to get some fitness or some exercise in? It's something that we can do if we have five minutes and want to go outside and play some basketball, shoot some hoops, you know, there's so many ways you could get a workout in playing basketball without knowing you're even doing anything, like physically. You know, it's like it's one of those things that's fun, you don't realize it's a good calorie burner, a great fitness tool. So I invested in a basketball hoop. So I played center because I was taller than all my girls, uh, my the girls that I played with. <laughs> and like mother, like daughter, my girls are also playing the same position. So that was that. So let's move on to the next fun things. I have a weight bench in my garage and it was unfortunate because I'm halfway through my workout and I'm like, why am I not using this every day again? It's like that rush of endorphins is almost like, it's like, oh man, does that feel good to just feel good to move the body and, you know, sculpt the work that you're doing by eating a well-balanced diet. You're seeing the, the results, you know, you, the slim down, the natural slim down. But then when you get to sculpt the work that you're doing, it's pretty freaking cool, you know? So I'm like, why am I not using this weight bench? You know, this has been in my garage like almost a year. I wanna say like eight months or so, it's been in my garage and I've used it maybe 30 times. You know, when I could be using it monthly, every single day monthly, you know? We have a heater in our garage, so if it's cold, we can still go out. We have two big fans that if it's hot, put the fans on, you know, like it, it's covered, it's at home. So it was just one of those things like, darn it, I've had this the whole time and I need to be using it. So I reignited a passion, strength training. Now, please remember, just because you lift weights does not mean you'll turn into the Incredible Hulk and you'll turn into this like, hur, hur, hur. it's not how it works. You know, I have no desire to become a bodybuilder, fitness guru. I just want to sculpt what I have, tighten up what jiggles, and that's where strength training comes in. And additionally, the more muscle mass you have, the more you get to eat. I love to eat. <laughs> so all in all, you know, it's like, 
I've been putting together some work behind the scenes for my 90 day challenge that's going to start on January 1st. And I went through and I've, I've had a heart to heart with myself for the past couple of weeks. I jotted down what stood in my way going forward. Why did I not get to my goal weight this year? Why did I yo-yo? You know, like, and I sat down and I freaking had a heart to heart with myself. So the theme for the January weight loss challenge on this channel is going to be something that was what truly was my biggest hurdle. And that's what we're going to focus on for 90 days. And I can't wait to announce the whole thing, the whole shebang. I'm working out the final details, so I don't want to just like jump and say what it all is, but it's going to be great. And it's going to be something that is, you would, is not what you would expect the challenge to be, but it's going to make sense. And you'd be like, oh my God, that's so smart. So anyways, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to start explaining things in the next couple of weeks um, as I work through these details. But overall, it's going to be a great, great way to, I'm getting to my goal weight next year, no matter what. Like, I am getting there. I am 30 pounds from my goal. How come I can't get there? Well, this challenge is going to explain why and how I am. So anyways... Um, stay tuned for that. Have patience. But remember, we are what? The sixth, di sixth, sixth day of December. We have an entire month left here. Don't give up just because you have a holiday party. So when it came to like the actual eating at the, 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 at the party, I ate what I could and then I didn't stress about it. You can stay focused. Don't blow your whole month just because you have one event that you may have to go off a of keto or you may eat too much or whatever this case may be. Remember that there is, what, 31 days in this month. So one day doesn't find, define the whole month. Even if it sets you back a whole week, it does not define the month. You have plenty of days to put the work in or at least counterweight the, the work that you are doing with the damage that you're doing, you know, but don't give up and don't discount December. Like December gets a bad rap because, oh, I'll wait till the first of the year. Don't do that. You just dig the hole deeper. Do what you can while you can every minute and day and opportunity you have in December. And this way you are in a good spot to kick off the 90 day challenge that we're going to have. And it's going to be called the Keto Rewind 90. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there and know that you can do this and stay tuned for what's to come. So I am Jess. You're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.